What's up guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video and today we're going to be working on Lena's MR2. So about a month ago we started hearing this weird noise coming from the engine, didn't really think much of it, it got slightly worse so I started doing some investigating on it and uh, I think we can bet that it is the rod bearings. I don't know, what do y'all think about this video? After we heard that, I drained all the oil, checked the oil. There is no metal shavings in the oil. Took the oil filter apart, and we found some metal shavings in the oil filter. Not too bad, though. The car still runs and drives exactly perfect, but it does have that noise. So we went ahead and ordered three different sizes, actually four, but they didn't have the other one in stock. So we got standard rod bearings, 30 over and 10 over rod bearings. And we're literally going to jack the car up, drop the oil pan and try to replace the bearings straight on the rod without taking the engine out or head off or anything like that. So I already know what y'all are thinking. You're thinking, oh, that is the complete wrong way to do it. Oh, the crank is going to be scuffed up. Oh, you're going to spin a bearing doing that. You're going to put the wrong size in yada yada. Well, I have seen people do this before. I've seen people completely rebuild engines in the car like this, you know, but they did have to take the head off to replace everything. Um, but we're not going for fucking performance here. We're going for taking that noise away. If it gets worse, okay, then we'll fucking do it the right way. But why not spend a couple hours on a weekend and just try to knock this bitch out, okay? So let's see if this fucking works or not. So first, we just got to jack it up so we can actually see the oil pan. And there's nothing in the way since this is a transaxle engine. The oil pan is literally free. Nothing's around it. So all we have to do is literally drop the oil pan and look up in the engine. All right, so as you can see, nothing is under the oil pan, so we have full access to take it completely off and look up into the engine. Wow, it's focused. Crank feels perfect. You can't even see any marks on it, so I think we're Gucci. So we got the rod cap off, and as you can see, it says STD, which means standard, not sexually transmitted disease. So that is the rod bearings we're going to be throwing on from the three we purchased. All right, so this isn't the cleanest engine building space, but if you look at the old one compared to the new one, you can definitely tell that there is a... Um, they did get a little bit scratched up, but there's nothing on the crank and I don't feel anything on the rod cap or con rod itself. I can barely get to the top, but I think it's going to work out just fine. I have my ultra slick engine assembly lute. I'm going to apply liberally all over this thing and then pop it back and play corker down. And hopefully it's as easy as that. 15 foot pounds and then 90 degrees. Uh, so they are at telling to stretch the bolts. Uh, technically, you're supposed to replace these, but we're gonna fucking send it, okay? <laughs> 90. <sighs> All right. I'm gonna try to do like a couple. down a little more? No. Okay. Are you watching football or football? I don't know what the fuck I'm watching.
So here are all the rod bearings out and boy you can see some of them are pretty bad. Some of them aren't horrible, but I'm glad we were able to get them all changed out. Hopefully the main bearings are all good, but we're gonna pick up a new oil pan gasket, a new oil filter, throw some new oil in it obviously, and hopefully she'll be mint. All right, well, we got a oil pan gasket, but it's this cheap cork shit, and it is all disformed. We can't even get it to fucking stay in the right spot. So we're putting RTV on here, and I'm using my fancy little oh. RTV squeezer, and we're going to reapply it. All right, the pan is completely bolted on with the RTV and new oil filter. Now all we got to do is fill her up and make sure she stays filled up. All right, so I'm going to crank the engine over and not let it start. That way we can actually get some oil pressure and get the bearings nice before it starts getting pressure put on them. So we're just going to unplug a couple coil packs and that'll be enough to get it to not start. Putting them back on. a couple minutes we let the oil cycle through it's warmed up not all the way warmed up but we're gonna give it the test cross our fingers And that just goes to show if you catch it early on enough, you can just swap out the bearings without even having to worry about anything else and get your car back up and running. Hell yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and clean it off because it has been sitting for about two weeks now. It got a lot of dirt and shit in the shiny nice wheels. So uh, let's make her not look so bad. All right, it is the next morning now. We drove this bitch about two hours around downtown Houston last night because the Astros won the World Series 2022. Hell yeah, brother. But anyways, that just goes to show everything is meant and you can get away with this. I was, you know, bouncing off rev limiter a few times. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Follow my two Instagrams right here. Like, subscribe, and motherfucking peace. Peace.